See one more example for the problem given and based on KCL only. IR, this is IR, 4 e to the power of minus 3t plus 3 e to the power of 40, minus 40. Next, IL of 0, this is IL. IL of 0 is given as 1 ampere. So we know this current is 1 ampere. So first of all, we should find what is the direction of the current. So you see what is the direction of current? It is a passive element. This is the direction. What is the direction of this one? This is the direction. And this one already given. It is a current source like this. How many incoming currents are there? Two incoming currents for this node. This one and this one. This is outgoing current. Hence, what you can write? IL plus 12 cos pi is equals to IR. That is the equation. But what is the condition given at t is equal to 0? Sir, what is the IR at t is equal to 0? When you substitute t is equal to 0, this becomes 1, this becomes 1. 4 plus 3 is a 7 amperes. This is 7 amperes. And uh, 12 cos 5. Already IL of 0 is given as a 1 ampere. This is 1 ampere. If you bring this left side, it becomes like a minus 1 ampere. So, hence, what will happen here? 12 cos pi, 12 cos pi is equals to 6. Cos pi is equals to 6 by 12. And pi is equal to cos inverse of 1 by 2. Hence, pi is equal to 60 degrees. This is what, uh, at t is equal to 0, what is pi means? This is what, you can have a 60 degrees is the answer. Very simple question, we have to apply only KCL. But meanwhile, some conditions are given, t is equal to 0, those numerical values we have to substitute automatically, we get here. Sir, why I consider direction this one? I told you number of times, why should again I repeat this? Because plus 2 minus passive element. See here, this is a, another simple model, a problem. Here 5 amperes is the incoming, 1 ampere is outgoing something. What is the question? Determine Ix and Iy. We have to find Ix as well as Iy. Are you okay, man? What is Ix? Is 1 ampere. What is Iy? 5 amperes. That's it. Sometimes we are going to waste our time thinking like that how many incoming currents are going, how many outgoing currents going like this. It is all not necessary. Simply you see here, this is what your direction of current. This is the current, this is the current, this is the current. Same current is there in the same branch. We don't want to apply anything here. Similarly here also you see, this is the current, same branch, this is the current, this is the current. 1 ampere. So Ix is equal to 1 ampere, Iy is equal to 5 amperes. Even if you want to check, for example, this is 5 amperes. This one is 1 ampere. 6 amperes is the incoming current. Outgoing current is also 6 amperes. Here 5 ohms, here 1 ohm. From that what is the voltage can you find here? The voltage here is, should be 5 volts, here is 1 volt. 5 divided by 5, 5 amperes, sorry. This is 1 ampere, it becomes not 5. We have to go for, it is 25 volts. 25 divided by 5, 5 amperes. Here, 1 volt divided by 1 ohm, 1 ampere. Like that also. Sometimes you will ask, what is the potential across this one? You can apply the simple concept. We can get very easily. This is the third model based on the Kitschapso current law. So in this problem, find a Vx. Find a Vx value. Of course, this we can apply by nodal analysis. Simply we are talking about Kitschapso laws. That's why we can talk based on the Kirchhoff's law. Some current is flowing like this. This current is like this and like this, which is living. Now, what is the current here? What is the current here? 100 minus Vx divided by 5. 
is equals to this potential is zero. This is incoming current. Outgoing currents are like this. <coughs> Vx by 1 plus Vx by 2. From this, 100 divided by 5 is equals to Vx by 1 plus Vx by 2 plus Vx by 5. If you take Vx as common, what is this? 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 5. If you take LCM as 10, this is 10 LCM, what it becomes like? 10 Vx plus, what is that? 5 plus, what is that? You can have 2. This is totally, this is 2 by 10, 1 by 2, 5 by 2, 1 by 2, 10 like this, into Vx. Now what it becomes is equals to this. So. 100 by 5 is e into 10 is equal to 17 Vx. This is 1, 2, 200 is equal to 17 Vx. Vx is equal to 200 by 17 volts. So in this problem, what is the value of Ix here? We want to find the Ix. Just you take all together, it is common path. It has a single node. And uh, what is the incoming currents here? 6 amperes is incoming. 6 plus 7 amperes is incoming. Plus this is outgoing. This is outgoing. This is incoming. Ix is equals to what is the outgoing currents? 2 plus 1, 3. Ix is equals to 3 minus 13. That is equal to minus 10 amperes. Ix is equal to minus 10 amperes. It means that current has to drive outside. That is an indication from this. Ix is equal to minus 10 amperes. This also is based on our kids also current law. So you see this is the problem given. What is requirement is. What is the current passes through 2 ohms. Suppose 2 ohms resistance is here. What is the current here? How many amperes? Sir, most of the cases if the problem is look like here. V1, V2, V3. Something like that. Students are approaching like a nodal analysis. It is sometimes unnecessary. We don't go for uh, that lengthy calculation. Observe that this is a ground terminal, zero potential. It is a V1, ideal voltage source. There is no internal drop here. Potential V1 is nothing but how many volts here? The voltage here is 10 volts. This point of voltage is 10 volts. Similarly, this is an also ideal voltage source. This potential of 5 volts. The resistance is between these two. Hence, what is the potential difference here? 10 minus 5. Easily we can calculate the current. Hence, 10 minus 5 divided by 2 ohms. 2 ohms will give the current I. So that is I is equals to 5 by 2 amperes. Very simple. But this procedure will not applicable. Suppose if you have a some resistance here. Suppose some resistance is here. Under that condition, we have to approach only by nodal analysis or mesh analysis. Why? Because uh, some resistance is here. This voltage is not equal to this potential. Because of this resistance is offset, <coughs> then only we consider this voltage is a V1. This resistance is offset. Hence, it is considered as a. So, then what is the value of R? This value of R. If the current through this branch is 2 amperes. Similar concept as like early problem, previous problem only. What is the potential here? 50 volts. What is the potential here? 25 volts. 50 minus 25. 50 minus 25. Divided by resistance R is equal to what is the current? 2 amperes. Hence R is equal to 25 by 2 that is equal to 12.5 ohms. The resistance value is how much? 12.5 ohms. Are you able to follow it or not? The concept here is, this is an ideal voltage source. This is an ideal voltage source. Potential difference we consider. In the previous problem, current is calculated. In this problem, resistance is calculated. In previous problem, what happened? Resistance value is known, current is calculated. In this problem, current is known, resistance value is calculated. Now, what is the power? 
in dependent source for Vx. Here, what is the power? We have to calculate. It's a closed path. We can approach for mesh analysis. While applying mesh analysis, what is the approach we can have? This is the voltage drop. What is Vx is equals to? Current passes of this one is I. 2 into I. That's a one concept. Now, 10 volts is equals to drop across this one is Vx plus 3 into I plus 4 Vx. This drop, this drop, this drop is equal to this source. Simple concept. What is Vx is equal to? 2I plus 3I plus 4 into 2I. That is 2I plus 3I plus 8I is equal to 10. How much this becomes like? 13. So I is equal to 10 by 13. I is equal to 10 by 13. But what is our task? We want to calculate the power dissipated here. Power is equal to voltage into current. 4 Vx into current I. So 4 into what is Vx? 2I into I. That is 4 into 2 into I square. That is 8 into what is I value? 10 by 13 whole square. This becomes like 800 divided by 13 square. I hope it is 169. 4.5. 3 something watts we are going to get here. This is the amount of power which is delivered or absorbed. This is current is flowing in this direction. Hence 4.3 watts of power is absorbing. What is that? Absorbing. It is not delivering. Suppose this is minus and plus. If current is coming like this, that is delivering. Source. Now it is acts like a sink. It acts like a sink. So in this problem, <coughs> what we have to calculate, what is the value of V1? What is the value of E? What is the value of V2? These things we have to calculate. That is the question given. So see, V1, E, V2 are three unknown. Some voltages are given. And you see here, this is a one closed path. This is one closed path. This is one closed path, this is another closed path. Like that, number of closed paths are said, apply KVL. For convenience, we can apply this closed path. This is one closed path is like this. This is ground point, this is ground point. Both ground point means it's a common. So your ground point to here. So this is higher potential, this is lower potential. Ground is zero. So that what you can take? Minus V1. And this is positive to negative, plus 2. And this is negative to positive, minus 3 is equal to 0. So from this what we got? Minus V1, minus 1 is equal to 0. So minus V1 is equal to 1, V1 is equal to minus 1 volt. One answer you got, V1 is equal to minus 1 volt. Again, to calculate E, any loop you can check it. If any confusion will come, you will go for another next loop. That only it will give the best solution. Coming to here, this is the closed path like this. For this path you can apply, what is the voltage here? Plus 3. 3 volts is this one. What is this voltage? Plus E. And coming this path, what is this one? Plus 8. And this is higher potential, this is ground is lower potential. Plus 10 is equals to 0. What happened? 18 plus 3, 21. E is equals to minus 21 volt. This voltage is minus 21 volts. Now again, to calculate V2, we have to come by this path or by this path. Any path will get same answer. There is no difference from that. Now you can apply this loop. You can apply this loop. What is the voltage here to here? Minus V1 plus 2 plus E and what about here? Plus 4. What about here? Plus V2 is equals to 0. Our task is to calculate V2. What is V1 value from that? Minus 1. Minus of minus plus. 1 plus 2 plus what is the E value? Minus 21. This is minus 21. 
plus 4 plus V2 is equals to 0. How much is this? This is 7, 21 minus 7, 14, minus 14, V2 becomes 14 volts. This is what the Kitschap's voltage law is applied for different. This is a question given in a long back in a gate exam, 20 years back. Of course, afterwards, this type of model is given in a several examinations. Only thing is, we can apply Kirchhoff's voltage law. Positive to negative or negative to positive. That concept, if you know very well, any problem you can able to solve it.